Hello, it's Becca and welcome to The Carriage House, a place where you can find comfort and cozy inspiration for your hearth and home. Today I'm in my kitchen and going to be organizing all of my dried herbs and spices and I'll be adding oils and extracts to new bottles as well. And I've always kept our herbs and spices in mason jars, which is a wonderful way to store herbs and spices. But the lids were starting to rust and the labels were beginning to come off. And you know how it is. Sometimes we simply crave a little bit of newness in our lives. But I'm still going to keep the mason jars for when we start canning in the late summer. And then I'll just go ahead and order new lids when that time comes. So first we have garlic powder, cinnamon, clove, and ginger. So garlic powder I like to use in my homemade marinara sauce, which we often can late summer when our tomatoes start growing in our garden. And I always use fresh garlic when I can and then supplement with garlic powder for another added layer of flavor. As far as health benefits go, garlic can help lower cholesterol and blood pressure. And garlic was once worn to guard against the plague during the medieval times. And sailors used to carry some on board ship to protect against its wreckage. And ground cinnamon we love to use in warm oatmeal and with brown sugar and muffins, breads, cakes. And ground cinnamon can help lower blood sugar levels and it may cut the risk of heart disease levels. And the leaves of cinnamon were once woven into wreaths which were used to decorate ancient Roman temples. I also have some ground ginger that I usually like to use a pinch in pumpkin pie in the fall. And I love to use it when baking gingerbread around Christmas time. Otherwise, when cooking, I prefer to use fresh ginger root instead. But ginger can help calm nausea and help soothe sore muscles. And in the Pacific, the Dobu Islanders would spit chewed ginger at an upcoming storm while at sea to halt it. Whole cloves I love to use in a simmer pot in the kitchen during the cool seasons of autumn and winter, just to make the house smell wonderful and cozy. I also like to put whole cloves in Persian and Indian rice dishes as well. Clove oil can work wonders if you have a toothache, and in ancient times it's believed cloves were burned as an incense to stop others from gossiping about you. Hmm. Interesting. I wish I would have known this when I was in high school. And we have pumpkin pie spice, which I love to use in making pumpkin pies in the fall. And sometimes we'll add a tiny pinch to an autumn tea type of blend. You can also sprinkle a little bit on freshly sliced apples along with a little bit of brown sugar and butter to make into a warm, tart apple pie. Whole cinnamon sticks I love to, again, put into a simmer pot on the kitchen stove in the fall and around Christmas time. And I usually add cloves, fresh rosemary, orange slices, things like that to the pot. And this helps give your home a nice, cozy holiday scent to it. And this, again, I like to put into the broths when I'm making Persian and Indian cuisine. Whole nutmeg I usually like to grate over a fresh slice of pumpkin pie in the fall as well. And nutmeg can help soothe indigestion. And it was once said that nutmeg hung from a string and safely put around a baby's neck would help aid in the baby's teething. Taco seasoning I like to have on hand whenever we have tacos for dinner. And by the way, we usually buy all of our spices in bulk at our local Amish community once a year, usually in the fall. Generally, ground spices tend to last about one year. Whole spices can be kept a lot longer. Ground cumin I love to put into homemade black bean chili, spicy shrimp tacos, baked falafels. And cumin has a wonderful earthy sort of aroma. I love it. But it can help with digestion and may lower blood sugar. And in Germany and Italy, cumin was put into bread to keep wood spirits from stealing it. Paprika, I've always loved the bright red color of it. And I like to put this into a creamy mushroom and rice stroganoff that we love. And I also like to sprinkle a little on hummus and deviled eggs. 
in the springtime. It has lots of vitamin A and can help reduce inflammation. And this is kind of funny. Zoo, I did not know this. Zoos sometimes include it in the food of flamingos in order to help them keep their pink color. And onion powder holds high significance in treating mouth sores, heart problems, headaches, and even cancer. And it is said that settlers in New England hung strings of onion over doorways to guard against infection. Italian seasoning is great to have on hand. It usually consists of basil, oregano, thyme, and rosemary. I use it in my spaghetti sauce, again. <laughs> and I also like to sprinkle a little over garlic bread before it's been baked. Ground black pepper I love. I really love freshly ground pepper though. I pretty much use pepper in everything I make. Black pepper is said to prevent cancer when it's mixed with uh, turmeric. And medieval times, it is said that people would mix it with salt and scatter it around outside the home to ward away evil spirits. Now dried parsley and chives I don't use quite as much, especially in spring and summertime when they're growing in the garden. But I love to use both to garnish so many dishes. It just seems to make food taste so much more fresh. They're both rich in antioxidants. And parsley, if you wear it as a wreath around your head, it can help prevent intoxication. <laughs> Dried oregano and thyme I love to use in a variety of different things. I usually add them in the beginning, shortly after I've sauteed my onions and garlic when I make um, different types of soups, stews, chicken, white bean chili, it's good in that, or Italian and Greek inspired meatballs. Again, I still like to use fresh herbs when I can. But oregano is very rich in fiber, and thyme is full of vitamin C. Oregano is said to promote good fortune and good health. If thyme is placed beneath your pillow, it can ensure a peaceful night's sleep. Red pepper flakes I love to saute in extra virgin olive oil with fresh garlic and then tossed with some pasta with freshly grated Parmesan cheese. Red pepper has lots of beta carotene in them, which is wonderful for healthy skin and eyes. And according to old timers, I hadn't tried this yet because we do have chickens, but cayenne pepper, let me know if, you, if you've done this. Cayenne pepper, which is what red pepper flakes consist mostly of, can be added to your chicken's feed in the cold months to help warm up your chickens and boost egg production. Bay leaves I love to add to seafood gumbo, and actually both of these are great in gumbo. And Old Bay is so delicious to add to seafood after it's been cooked or add it to a large pot of water before you add any type of, like a shrimp bowl type of food like mini corn on the cob and new potatoes. Bay leaves are proven to be helpful in the treatment of migraines and it's said that a bay leaf tree planted near the home can help protect the family against sickness. Seasoned salt I love to sprinkle on baked potatoes or french fries. Chili powder I use for making homemade chili, especially in the fall. Lemon pepper seasoning I love to use on chicken breast before it's baked in the oven. And chili powder can help with weight loss, which is what I need. And it once was said if chili powder was rubbed on the bottom of little baby's feet, then it would ensure them good health. Now dried mustard I don't use quite as much, but when I do use it, I actually use it sometimes to use as a pigment to create a paint mixture to use in our homeschool classes. And turmeric is delicious to use when making Indian food and it's fully loaded with antioxidants. It can improve brain function, it can lower your risk of heart disease, and it's even said to prevent cancer if consumed on a regular basis. And turmeric has long been used in Hawaii for purification. And now that I've put our spices away, I'm gonna take a minute to put our honey pot away, refill my salt and pepper cellar, put our olive oil and vinegars into bottles that are just a little bit better at being dispensable. But this has been lots of fun. I've really enjoyed it. And I would love to hear your favorite ways on how you use herbs and spices. And I hope all is well. And until next time, please stay safe, healthy, and happy, my dear friends.